This is your sign to take time for self-care to then come back better. In this video, I'm going to share six self-care habits to implement this summer to recharge and reconnect so that you'll be full of new energy, inspiration and determination for the end months of this year. Maybe you've been working hard on your goals and feel overwhelmed. Maybe things haven't been going your way lately and you've faced a lot of challenges. Or maybe you didn't get started with anything at all and feel like a failure for wasting the first half of this year. Whatever your situation, I want you to know, it's going to be okay. Because we're going to fix it now. And as absurd as it might sound, it starts with taking a break. You know, personally, I've got a bit tired of this year already. No, but seriously, these past two years have been quite tiring, starting from writing my thesis, graduation, job hunting, getting rejected from my dream job, moving back with my parents, moving away from them, pursuing entrepreneurship, failing at it, starting a YouTube channel, losing clients. I mean, it's been a lot. So I decided that this summer, no matter what, no matter my situation, I am going to drop everything and rest. First of all, to get back on the right vibration, because when there is a lot of rejection and obstacles in your life and when you're working long on something and things are not going your way, of course it's natural to get drawn into a negative cycle, but we cannot stay there. We need to get back on the good vibrational level so that we can attract good things again to us. And this includes letting go of goals, aspirations and ambitions for a while, for, for the summer. Living day by day, doing simple things embracing the slow life and i have to say that these habits that i did are really working i have this new energy new ideas new inspiration that i can't wait to share with you i truly feel rested recharged and reconnected with myself so drop everything you're doing and take the time for yourself You know, there's just so much power in waking up earlier. I just love the summer mornings. Have your cup of coffee and some stretching to open up the body for the day and just generally have more time to just sit, think, process. Take your time in the morning, slow mornings. If this isn't self-care, then what is? But still, do prioritize good sleep. So if you go to sleep a little bit later in the evening, in the night, then of course take that time in the morning to sleep a little longer. Because being a tired girly, it is not taking care of yourself and also waking up earlier you just feel so much more fresh because you know this feeling when you wake up late you sleep like till 12 and then you wake up and you see the clock and you're like oh my god i slept so long and the days feel so short and you also feel more sluggish and tired and like not really well rested although you slept so long it is just way much nicer for yourself as well to wake up earlier the hardest part is getting out of the bed but once you do that you're winning the day then another thing that i really try to prioritize with my summer self-care routine is morning sunlight morning sunlight is the best thing that you can do for your well-being your mental well-being but also your physical well-being so in other words for your overall wellness the healthiest rays of sunlight are in the morning before 12 o'clock basically what the morning sunlight does for you is you become more energized your eyes will be healthier because it is really good to let your eyes to have some sunlight on them first thing in the morning. It positively affects your mood as well and you get the daily dose of vitamin D. And in general, I'm a strong believer into the power of sun and what kind of abilities it has in healing us humans mentally but also physically. And when you are enjoying that dose of morning sunlight, you can also use it as a moment to meditate, whether you do it on a balcony or sitting in your garden or by walking. But this is a good moment to just think about nothing and and recharge. Okay, the next self-care habit that really really works for me when I feel like I need to recharge and reconnect is connecting with nature. If you don't know yet by now, I am a nature girly. I need to go to nature at least at least once a day. And the need becomes even bigger when I'm not feeling optimal. Spend the day on the beach, listen to the waves, or go to a forest or a park for a walk. The way connecting with nature will help you with your self-care process is by regulating your nervous system, which is so important when you feel a little bit demotivated or out of place and disconnected from your true core self. It is essential 
to regulate your nervous system when you want to recharge and reconnect. And if you're going for a walk, I would really encourage you to do it without headphones. Don't listen to podcasts or music or audiobooks. Of course, it has its place as well. But if your intention is to connect with nature for meditative purposes, for the purpose of recharging and reconnecting with yourself, then I'd really encourage you to listen to the sounds of the forest or the park. Listen to the wind, the leaves, the birds, the animals, the insects, the nature, because that has so much power in calming you down and regulating your nervous system. It is extremely healing and calming. Okay, then one more self-care habit that I catch myself doing, especially in the summers, is eating fresh vegetables and berries and fruits and all the stuff that is seasonal and fresh. And the reason why for this is because when the things are fresh and seasonal, they have the most amount of of nutrition nutrients in them and the, the antioxidants and anything your body utilizes from those which is of course good for you because it's nutritious and good nutrition is the most basic it's the building block for your mental but also physical well-being when you feed your body good you feel good and it's not brand new news you know this quote from the internet that the time you don't spend on working on your goals someone else will and before it used to stress the f out of me but lately i realized that okay so what? Good for them. I am tired. <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, I don't want to compete anymore. I used to have this awful time pressure that by the age of 25, I need to move to New York, make a few millions and have my name in the Forbes under 30. But you know what? There is a whole life time to grow into your fullest potential. And this realization has been so relieving. I just do my work, do my best, let go and let God. Be fine with it. Just let the time do its magic. So the next self-care habit that I have for you for this summer is embracing slow living. Your mind is your biggest enemy. All the time busy doing things and going to places. But you know what? The real luxuries in life aren't the money, the big house, or the fast car. These are just material things that come and go, but something that no one can take away from you are your memories, your mindset and your experiences. And far too often these things come from simple joys of life, such as quality friends, slow moments, living in the moment, hobbies and etc. Success does not equal happiness. Happiness is not tied to your achievements. I'll be happy when I lose weight, get that job, earn more and have more. Does this sound familiar? But let me tell you something. Happy Happiness won't come when you acquire something. Happiness is a state of mind which is acquirable right now through mindfulness, appreciation and gratitude. And also, something worth mentioning, being busy doesn't equal success. For me, this break already helped me to realize that doing things whole day doesn't equal being productive. You can do your work in 8 hours or you can do it in 4 if you reduce the unnecessary. Isn't it what they say? Work smart, not hard. And other self-care habits to consider to add to your summer self-care routine is scheduling fun activities with your friends, seeing your friends, spending time with your family, put more focus into social relationships. After all, that's one of the most important things that really matter. And also journaling, reflecting, turning into, into yourself, asking questions, searching for answers. And also something I really want you to take into account is that internet is full of self-care habits, self-care routines, etc. And it's so easy to just search up a self-care routine and copy one. But for the best results, the best self-care routine that will help you the most is something you shouldn't copy. Instead, I advise you to create your own. And how to do that, I share in this video.